So how do you buy Windows and have a computer come with it for free? Let's go. How's it going? So I hope everyone's staying safe in the coronavirus era. I'm kind of still uh, waiting for my studio. I'm kind of quarantined right now, so apologize again about the video. Today we got a fun one though. It's actually, how do you buy Windows? Just go ahead and buy Windows and have it come with a free computer. Well, it's not actually that simple. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and explain the process here in a second. So let me show you how to do it. All right, so before you actually beat me down on this, let me go ahead and explain the process. So this isn't actually buying Windows and then getting a free computer just thrown in. It's actually buying Windows and a computer for a cost that's actually less than just buying Windows straight out. So if you believe it or not, there's a lot of computers out there right now you can buy that are actually cheaper than just buying Windows, if that makes any sense, and they come with Windows. So if you want a computer with Windows, it's cheaper than buying just Windows. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple examples here. I'll have links to them in my uh, description as well if you wanna go ahead and buy any of them. Now these are gonna be computers that, you know, you're not gonna be buying gaming machines. You're not gonna be buying systems that are super high-end or anything like that. These are gonna be systems if you just need a basic computer, maybe 48 gigs of RAM, Windows 10 on it as well, and then maybe um, an i5, maybe an older i5, older i3, something like that, but enough to get things done. These are the computers, but you can actually buy the computer and Windows for less than the cost of Windows. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Links are in the description, so let's get into it. We're gonna kind of show you how to actually, you know, we'll just show you some examples straight out and show you what you can get for, for a cost less than Windows. Believe it or not, this is how they sell it. I mean, Windows is kind of thrown in on systems, so you can get them for a lot cheaper than just buying Windows. Makes no sense to me either, so let me go ahead and show you how. All right, so let's create a little baseline right here. So how much is Windows anyway? This is gonna be on Best Buy, you can see up here. You know, today's the day I'm looking up the price, so it could change a little bit later, but today's obviously the day. And it's Windows 10 Home English version. It's so $139.99, so basically $140, which is kind of kind of crazy. Um, but as you can see, it's $140. So if you were building a new system and you wanted a full version, you didn't want to kind of just put a fake version or a version that you bought somewhere on the black market. If you wanted a full version, it's going to cost you almost $140, somewhere in that range. Probably get a little bit cheaper somewhere else, but this is Best Buy. This is what it's going for right now. So there's our baseline. So let's see how we can get some computers here with Windows 10 included for cheaper than just Windows. All right, so we're gonna start down the list. How cheap can we go and still have Windows on these systems? Again, these are gonna be refurb systems or renewed systems, but they're gonna be in really good shape. They have pretty good reviews and they're gonna you know, be from Amazon. Um, I do have links in the description so you can kind of check these out if you wanna go ahead and buy one of these. First one though, again, the, let me just kind of say really quickly, these are computers that are gonna get basic functions done. They're not gonna be something that's going to be for gaming. You can always add video cards and more RAM and stuff if you want to, SSDs, but these are basic computing systems, but they include Windows for the, for something that's cheaper than Windows itself. So let's look at the first one, $129.99, so it's cheaper than the $139.99. This comes with an, it's an HP 8100 desktop computer, i5, 3.2 gigahertz, eight gigs of memory. That's the, that's the, you know, big thing there. Eight gigs, one, even a one terabyte HHD, I'm sure it's a spinning drive there. A genuine Windows 10 professional. So just, this isn't even Windows Home, this is professional. And you get this system for $129.99. So I'll have a link to the description in this one, but here's number one, but how cheap can we get that include Windows? Again, Windows is $139.99 just by itself. So number two, let's click on this. This is $124. This is gonna be a Dell Optiplex 980. It's an i5. This has 6650, six, but if you look down here, it's actually an i5 6500, which is, you know, that's pretty uh, a newer system. So this is a really good deal. It's got 8 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig, again, spinning drive, and includes the keyboard and mouse. It comes with Windows 10 Pro. This is the Pro version of it, which is more expensive than the one we showed you. Um, and this one is 124.85. So we got a little bit cheaper. It's about, what is that, you know, $15 cheaper than just buying Windows itself, and you get the whole system here. So again, I promised you that I would deliver, and if you look for just a basic system here, these are great systems to buy. You can see how they're reviewed really well as well. Um, they have high ratings on all these systems. So how much lower can we go though? 124.85, let's go lower. Here's one. Now, if you want something that's a little bit smaller, it's maybe not as powerful, but this is more of a mini computer. You can even pick one of these up. And this has got all the ports on the back, and I'll show you in a second. But this has got, let's see here, a tiny form factor. So it's a Lenovo Think Center, and it comes with an Intel. This is only a dual core, but it's a newer one. It's a G3220T processor. When I say newer, it's 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 older, but it's 
a little bit newer than some of the old dual cores, so it still can run basic Windows. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, which is, is fairly good, 500 gig drive, Wi-Fi, USB 3.0, Windows 10 Pro. Again, that's a Pro version, not the home version. So for, what is this, $115, $115, really good reviews, you can pick up this system here. If you look at some of these things, it's got a lot of ports, so if you just want this for, you know, just for your TV set or something for your, you know, maybe your bedroom or something, you can go ahead and get this set up. 115 uh, how is this even possible when windows is 139.99 and that's just for the home version not even the pro version can we go any cheaper yes we can so here's another one i'll have this in the link description as well this is a, another dell it's a again these are all renewed but they're like new almost i mean they're going to be in very good condition um this is going to be the uh app Optiplex 3020, and this is gonna be an i3 only, but a, a 4130, so fourth generation i3. Four gigs of RAM, you can always add RAM to this later. 500 gig um, drive, and then it's got Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, the Pro version again. I wanted, I showed you the, only the home version, I should've showed you the Pro version. Um, $98.99. So we're talking a good $40 cheaper than Windows. You get the specs on this system, a, a whole computer for it. Um, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? So at the end of the day, you know, I wanted to show you, these are four of them. Here's the fifth one. This one's actually a little bit more expensive. If you want to spend maybe a couple more bucks than Windows, you know, than, than Windows is itself. This one's $153.98. I wanted to throw one of these in just only because of the fact you can get um, an Intel i5, eight gigs of RAM, but you can also get a 240 gigabyte brand new SS, SSD on it. So if you figure the SSD might cost 50 bucks by itself, um, you know, that means the rest of the computer might be a hundred bucks, but that doesn't even include Windows. And this is Windows 10 Professional Pro again. So you can see, you know, what's included. It says um, brand new keyboard and mouse is included. Monitor is not obviously, but, but for, you know, just the keyboard and mouse, what is that, 30, 40 bucks? Then you get the SSD, then you get the whole computer, and then Windows is included in here for $153.98. So I wanted to show people what's possible. These are systems that if you're just trying to buy, you know, something that can get basic work done, especially now that the economy may not be the best for a long time, you want to get some, you need a computer, your computer broke, you need something, go ahead and check this out. Um, check out the links. I'll have links to all these in my description. Not that you have to buy them through me. I, I don't, that's not what I do this for, but again, I don't make a lot of money at this so if people can buy it if they're willing to and they want to that would help me out if not don't worry about it it's not a big deal anyways i'll go ahead and have links to that just in case Alrighty. so what does everyone think it's pretty crazy huh so you actually can get windows and the computer for cheaper than windows i proved it right there it's one of those things in life that uh it makes no sense right i mean how, why would you ever do you know why would you ever just buy windows of course there's complications of getting that license off if you want to do a new computer later or something like that. So you got to keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, if you're just looking for some really, really basic stuff and you want a basic computer for that, you're not looking to you know break the bank, um, you don't want to do gaming or you don't want to do anything, you know, CAD and the things like that, then you're actually going to be able to buy a system that's fairly cheap and have Windows and, and it's super, super, you know, affordable with, but it's, it's very, very functional as well. Anyways. I do videos on this kind of stuff. I like to kind of mix it up with different types of topics and stuff. And of course, I'm in quarantine, so please give me a thumbs up because I'm just trying my best to get content out there right now, um, you know, where I can't go out and get new stuff. Anyways, if you guys can subscribe to my channel, I do make, you know, a ton of videos on Apple stuff. This is not Apple, obviously. I do Windows and PC, do some financial, some travel, make about two videos a week. So go ahead and subscribe and hopefully click the like button. Help me out in the world of quarantine right now. Doing my best. Talk to you soon.